This is a how-to guide on a 2015 to 2019 Subaru Outback. This is for the JDM wheel arches. Uh, they're a little bit larger than the US domestic market models. I'm putting up a picture here. I've also got the US part number and the JDM part number, which I'll list here. I got these wheel arches from a eBay vendor from Great Britain, actually, the UK. Uh, they are the JDM part that they sell over there, so I, that was the cheapest place we could find them. First thing we're going to do, if I can focus this up, uh, just dry it off, clean off the fender. So I just got done cleaning with Windex, drying it off. The instructions actually say to use heptane. I'm just going to use an alcohol wipe. That'll get anything off. What you're looking for is something clean and debris, dry. It's not going to be covered in dirt is all you're really looking for here. All right, now that it's clean and dry, go ahead and fill it. You can. I think it's a good idea if you were to fill the paint for any scuffs. I actually had a couple, I don't know if it was tar or what, that was on there that I had to use my fingernail to get off. But make sure it's smooth, make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry. That's what you're looking for. Once you do that, go ahead and mock it in place. Uh, you can either use masking tape or scotch tape or light tape to put on there. Once you're done, check and see that it all looks right. Leave it for a minute, look at it from several, angle, yeah, several angles because it's going to be permanent once it's on there. With it in place, go ahead and mark this tab located right here. Just use a sharpie to get in there and then mark the same tab up here. I'm going to take one of these stickers. It's really just tape. I don't think you'd really need it. If you'd lost this or something, you can see it there. I'll take one of these and put these on the marks that you just made with the Sharpie. What I just did there, that's so the clip doesn't scrape any of the paint since it will be on metal there. Next we're going to get the adhesive started. What I've done is I've started to pull it back some. Left a good bit on. You can see most of it actually. But doing it this way will allow you to pull it off. This is another strip here. And we've got another setting down there. And one at that end. Uh, this will allow me to mock it in place before I fully commit to putting it on. We're then going to put it back on. We're then going to install these style clips on those two places that we previously marked and taped. This clip will go in like that and lock it in place. Then going to do the same thing we did before with getting the adhesive strip started. And we're going to do that for the small piece that goes on the bumper. Let me back up some. And we're going to attach two more clips. These don't require the protective tape that we put on before because this is going the bumper is plastic and it's not really going to harm it. Once you've confirmed you've got it where you like it, go ahead and pull the protective tape off and permanently put it on.
and that is the front wheel arch. Okay, moving on to the rear. I went ahead and already washed this area and sanitized it with that alcohol swab. Uh, the first step is going to be removing this piece as this is actually replaced by the fender flare. I'm going to see if I can remove it by hand. The answer is yes. Next we're going to mark the areas for the clips similar to what we did on the front. Get a little sharpie. And then on the rear door, uh, the clip's a little bit different. I'm going to get you a shot of that. So this is looking into... So we're going... to do... each one of these. Alright, we take it all back down, again, and we put tape on, the protective tape squares. This one here that came with it. And then if you see those two holes in the fender, we're going to plug the top one with one of these. Uh, I guess it's not used anymore. For the door, it's going to work slightly different. We're going to go actually around the entire door panel. I'll get you a good shot of what I'm doing here. Home stretch now. I'm gonna take this, install it into the rear bumper, about right there. I'll go ahead and do that now. Next, we're gonna take this tab and we're gonna install it into the wheel arch right there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. We're gonna start to peel off the tape backing the same way we did before just enough so we, when it's on there it'll both hold in place and we can still adjust it before we permanently put it in we're going to do that same procedure on all three pieces now Once they're on, we're going to go ahead and make sure the door works. Looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and install the clips. The kind of clips that have two holes in it like that go in the door. The kind that have a slot in this go in the metal parts of the car body, which is this part right there. Again, the kind that has a slot. Go in the metal parts. And the kind we used before, just the plain ones, go in the bumper right there. Now we remove the tape. And finally, we install this tiny little screw right there. So the instructions say to put that in Newton meters. I think that's about 15 foot pounds. I'd have to double check the math. Uh, I'm actually capable of doing that with my hands. It's a 
Phillips screw. You could use a little baby socket wrench if you wanted. Probably quarter inch, maybe three eighths. Uh, finish it up. Actually, you are finished, what I'm thinking. Thanks for watching.